and then the same goes for here it's just null so with this process it will load all the images into our player image array okay now let me scroll all the way down here so that none of you guys forget this okay as for destroying the bitmaps all you have to do is just make a for loop um like this and just destroy the destroy each bitmap image individually make sure you do that or you will have a lot of memory leaks just so you know okay uh so just let me check my battery life is low okay yeah this is long enough okay so now let's uh go to our actual variables so the position remains the same okay but now we have something new called um current image and it's basically gonna see which image in the frame it's on so since there's four image since there's four images within in a direction it will say if it's either on the first image second image third image or fourth image the base image is the basically the image set that is on so if it's on the first image set then it means that it's facing down so to show you this would be these are the first image set this is the second image set third image set and the fourth image set down there right so just let you know which image set you're on um right here is the direction that you're facing and I don't I think this was the frame the current frame or something um we just changed it to direction now uh, our move speed remains the same switch frame remains the same and I change this to a float the frame counter to a float you'll see why and um is active remains the same now uh, I'm not sure I don't remember what was here before I don't know if it was current frame or frame or something right here um, you could you could just have to change it to direction um, but a cool thing to do in Visual Studio is that if you click control H you can find what you want so say it was current frame you could find the current frame and change it with the word direction and click replace all and it will replace it throughout your whole program by the click of a button so it's easier faster and you can use that for anything else you need so um, let's go down to our actual update loop everything's the same to close the window with the escape key we set active to true everything remains the same um, right here we move according to our position and we set the, the direction the player is facing simple enough that's that's easy so um, let's go to here so we say that the base image is equal to direction times four okay so we want to figure out which image set we're on right so we're basing the image set on when base image is equal to zero then the image set is equal to one right that's the image th that's the first image set when base image is equal to one it's talking about the second image set so on and so forth so we're basically classifying it just like an array okay so if you're pressing down if you're pressing the down key let's go to our enum our source enum down is equal to zero right by default by the, the source enum so right here for pressing down it will say base image is equal to direction which is equal to down so direction is equal to zero so it will say base image is equal to zero times four which is equal to zero so base image is equal to zero since base image is equal to zero then it means that we're talking about the first image set which means draw these four frames simple enough so you'll see how we use utilize this later so now I said there's two different methods earlier on in this tutorial so <coughs> so um, these this is the first um, method okay so what we're gonna do is I set it to float and then what I'm um, the reason why I set it to float is because we're gonna be adding point to each time each frame right and then when frame counter is greater than four then we reset the frame counter so remember before when I said that the current image will classify um, which frame to draw this is for the second method so 
uh, second method this isn't for the first method so basically depending on the the frame numbers on it will determine which frame to actually draw so you'll understand what I mean after and then in the else statement you just set frame counter equal to zero simple enough so let's go to our masked um, blitz function so we we're gonna do this we say our player image so we have to we have to determine which image to actually draw so our player image is equal to since this is a float we have to um we have to cast it yeah that's a word we have to cast it to int to the int type so we change it from a float to int so basically we're saying int frame counter so we'll round it i believe down plus base image so basically it is like this okay so say the frame counter is equal to zero which means that it's drawing the first frame and the person's pressing the down key so that means base image is equal to zero then it will the player zero plus zero equals zero so it will draw player image zero meaning that it will draw this first image right here now I know that seemed confusing so I'll go through it again so say we're on the second image set say we're pressing the left arrow key so let's let's go through all this again so direction will be equal to left and left is equal to one so it'll be one times four so base image will be equal to four okay so let's go down so say we're drawing this first image say we're drawing this image right here right sorry for that it will say frame count will be equal to zero plus base image so zero plus four is equal to four and player image four is equal to this image remember array start at zero so player image zero is this player image one is this player image two is this so on and so forth and then it will draw our images accordingly so for the next um so then it will draw the first frame second frame third frame fourth frame right and then when frame counter equals is greater than four so when it's done drawing the fourth frame then it will reset it back to zero and it will draw the first frame again right and then we draw it to the buffer our source is zero zero our position to draw it on the screen is our regular position and then the width of the image we have to set it um to the actual width of the image because remember that each image might have a different width and a different height so we just copy we just copy this from here and then paste it and then we put the arrow and put w for the width and same thing for here and put h for the height the same thing is the same you blit the buffer to the screen clear the buffer and below here you destroy the buffer i already showed you how to destroy the image uh exit allegro and that's it so let us run the program okay so if you run it this is what you get I think it's a bit laggy because of my screen recorder on mine but it shouldn't be laggy for you you'll get a smooth walking animation on the screen and that is it for the first method